Good morning, everybody. I am Russ. This is Chris. It is Monday. Now, you know, before we go any further, before we even start this whole show, I want to give a shout out to Kathy Miller, Kathy Ward Miller, which is Tommy's wife. I want to say hi to her. She watched <coughs> the show and she made Tommy kiss us at the bowling alley, which was very uncomfortable the way he kept hugging. It well, wasn't. he was like, until he used the tongue, I was okay. Then it got, got a little weird. Got to watch time. Just a know. little weird. But Kathy, thank you. Big shout out to you for watching and enjoying the show, and really for putting up Tommy with Tommy for all those years. Because that's that's tough. strong woman. Strong, strong woman. Strong woman. So tomorrow I'm going to after the show be going and collecting money. And it reminds me of our days of when we used to hopefully know law enforcement were watching. I think it's just the misdemeanor now, of when we used to be bookies. In our when lifetime, we used to be booked. In our lifetime, we have done many a things. Yeah. And one of our things was we were bookies. And as you could see. I can get you set up with somebody still. Yes, he can. If you're watching. As you I can mean, see, it worked like this. Chris took the calls because now everything's com computer. Chris would take the calls. I'd go get the money. Problem is. Everybody liked me. I could get paid. But when Chris went with me, there was one incident. Now, I'm not going to say where we were, but this guy was sitting down, happened to have a tennis racket. I'm not proud of this. Happened to have a tennis racket right here. And I, we both walked in, and I said, hey, you owe X amount of dollars. And He had owed it for a while. Yep. And the problem was it wasn't in... I don't have it. I will get it to you. It was the comment he made that allowed Chris to grab the butt end of the racket, which state champion, and calmly slide it and hit him right here across the nose with that, right under the nose and top of it, busted his lip. If there was a hillbilly Goodfellas, that was it right there. That was us. And I went like <clears> this. <throat> Oh, All yeah, right, let's go. Come on. Right. But now, the moral of the story is what? We got paid. And about a year ago, yeah. Yeah. you run into this young I guy. I did run into him. And he went, tell Chris thank you. He sure did. I never gambled another day in my life. He, that's exactly right. I have a stone bruise. Got stoned? I got stoned. And <laughs> if anybody knows what a stone bruise is, it's usually on your heel or it's on the bone. And somehow on my right heel, I have right, not on the, but right to the edge, I have some, and I don't know if I stepped on something, stepped on a rock. It could know what be it is. planters, whatever they call it. I thought that was in the arch. I, I don't know. My stepdad has it right now, and he said he can't hardly get around. He's had it before. I asked him if it's in the arch. Okay. Because mine's right on the, the, the side of my heel on the bruise, and I've had them when I was younger. And I don't know if I stepped on something, but every morning, whew, I want to just slap Stephanie. Make her feel. Make her like feel the same foot. way I do. Oh, but no, it, it, that hell getting old, man. So, hell getting you old. have compulsive disorder. I have, I have OCD. To an extent. Yeah. I, I cannot. As do I. I just, I can't, I don't like messes. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. I have it. As do I. And it's... My woman also has it. And it is RCD. Russell, do everything. <laughs> R-D-O. I hate when she we have water bottles and she won't fill them up after she's drinking. Right. And they sit on the can. And I'm like, why can't you just... Go ahead, finish your show. It's this? Yeah, just sets it down. I'm like... Just fill it back up. What is your mine used to be? Mine used to be. I would leave my underwear in the bathroom. You know I don't leave stuff laying around, right? But mine used to be. Shower, leave my underwear in the bathroom. Now I, I don't do it, but everybody has things they hate, whether it's folding clothes or putting up clothes or. Which way the towels are folded? Yeah. How you how y'all fold y'all's towels? And no, y'all fold them like me. Yeah. In the three three, three deal. deal. 
And then if somebody was to put it in that don't have the smooth part out, I got to change it. Yeah. I have to take it off and change it. Mine is mine's the dishes, the sink. I, I, I can't, I don't, I don't mind you during the day, but by the end of the day, there's no reason for two people. Right. Don't get me wrong. This ain't that there should be dishes in the sink that you can't just wash them out. I don't. <clears throat> well, I cook, clean, wash. I cook, clean, and wash. Same way. Three. Eat and wash. Yes. Why aren't you just, why aren't you putting those in the dishwasher? Same way. Because there's two plates. Same way. So let me just go ahead and, so sometimes I will go, all right, I'm just going to put them in the dishwasher. Don't start <clears throat> giving in. Bringing don't, me down. Don't start that giving in crap. You stick to washing them dishes like <laughs> a man should. We'll do that. Most of the time, I know what I'm doing. I agree. Throughout the day. I agree. That gets, I was going to talk about that today. You got a plan, man. And and just like you, we have we do the show at nine o'clock every morning. I train two people for, prior to that, mm -hmm. and then we set out on. Now our plans might change, and but I want to know: Are you guys planners? And for people that are going to go, nope, I just get up and go to work. I don't care. I come home, and after that, I figure out what I'm going to do. If you are not working for someone that's when you have to be a good planner and multitasker i believe and have a, a little bit of drive or you can just lay around and do yeah. nothing all day yeah i mean till lunch every day which i kind of like our mornings are full right our mornings are full till lunch after that then we can start like with hoke and, and the equipment and getting ready for the new red sea project mine used to be busy till like two or three but I used to not get up till nine. That now I get up at seven thirty and have that extra hour and a half in there to and and you know when what? we work out in the morning. I get up at six thirty. Does that not? Y'all did y'all hear that? Yeah. Six. Does 30. that not make a difference? Makes the days long. When you have nothing to do. <laughs> if you're done by one or two. Yeah. It, those those are those are tough. Those are are, are tough. But I want to know if you guys are planners. If if you plan, and you know what, your day. Do you know something that goes along with planning? What? Showing your ass up on time. Oh, we're not getting into pet peeves. It's not a pet peeve. It's a out of respect. You should be on time. You. I don't understand how people are late. I'll be honest. I don't understand. Eight, five minutes late. <sighs> I don't understand. But post the meet at nine and you hadn't left the house yet? I don't understand that. I, there's a few people we could name. Oh, there's a lot of people we could name. I mean, if we wanted to say Gary's name, we could say Gary's name. But I'm not going don't to. Don't say Gary's name. And don't even give us a text. That's the thing. Technology. You want to reenact it? <clears throat> man, Gary's supposed to be here at nine. It's 9.30. Yeah, call Gary. Ring. Hello. Hey, hey, man. Hello? Hello, hello. Hey, it's 9.30. You're supposed to be here at nine. Yeah, yeah, I was just, I was, I was walking out, I was walking out the door. I just, I just started my car and I was already on the way when you oh, called. All right, all right. Okay, okay go right. back to sleep and we'll see you when you get, actually get up. Oh, uh, okay. I'll see you later, Chris. That is Gary every time. <clears throat> he don't even clear his throat. Every time. <clears> throat> yeah. Hello? He goes, uh. Every time. What is so hard? It's Wednesday. I had to work Monday. Yeah. What is so hard about time management? I understand if I call Chris at 5.30 and I say, we're going to go eat at 6, and he goes, I'll try to be there that if you, if that time runs right. short. Dude, she didn't get home to 5.45. We had to, <clears throat> but he'll either text me or call me. But when I go at 9, 10 in the morning and go, hey, we're going to go eat at El Chico's today at 6. Y'all in? Yeah, if we're in, we'll be there. You're going to be on time. Yeah. Time management, planning, that's a great, 